we have all the cameras here. <laughs> I mean, look how many cameras are here for Katie Mae this morning. I mean, the, it's I a mean, paparazzi. I know, it's incredible. So let's uh, let's start it off. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to welcome our 50th mother load queen, right? Mother load roundup queen. Our reigning queen. Our reigning queen. Good morning, Katie Mae Bronner again. Do you wake up this lovely every morning? I try. <laughs> wow. You look incredible. Thank you. Let me ask you, how long does it take does it take Katie May to wake up in the morning? Or once you decide you're gonna go ahead and get ready, how long does it take you to get ready? Where do you can walk out the door? My mom puts curlers in at about four o'clock this morning. Oh my gosh. Are you they... are you still asleep? <laughs> I'm just now waking up. I'm almost there. I mean, at four in the morning while she's putting in the rollers, are you sleeping then? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. My <laughs> eyes are closed. She's rolling my hair. And then I sit with the rollers in for about an hour and a half, and I'm getting all my clothes ready. Then it takes her another half an hour to pull all the curlers out, and then I go get dressed. Wow. Then we're out the door. That is incredible. Well, you look lovely. You do. You, you look you. sensational. We have several ladies that are up for uh, your crown this year. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be on their program this week. Do you have any advice for these ladies that are that are you know they're they're trying to become the queen? They're all doing amazing. They're a bunch of beautiful blondes. <laughs> they're all blondes. Oh, yes, they really? Mm-hmm. And they're all doing amazing. They're out there selling their tickets. I'm seeing more and more posters around town. They're doing really good. All right. And what are your plans now that you're giving up your crown? Well, I'm still in high school, so mm -hmm. I'm getting ready to graduate, and then I'm going to attend Columbia College and okay. get my general education out of the way. Smart girl. There you, there you go. I stay at home for a while. And not, I've got to ask you something else about housework. Today is no housework day. Uh -huh. Now, does Katie Mae Broderick, a queen, <laughs> my little roundup queen, now what's your favorite part of housework? When I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's a good answer. When I'm done. Well, so today, no housework for you today, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. tell my mom. You might have to tell her, too. I'll tell her. Okay, Mom? <laughs> All right. She's out there. All right. So, uh, Katie Mae, you're going to be back here on Friday, right? Uh-huh. All right. Now, we're, on Friday, we're just going to let you know. We're going to have you working in here a little okay. bit. Okay. You're going to be doing weather. Uh, you're going to be play, uh, You're going to be jocking the songs. We're going to play some of your favorite songs <laughs> on Friday. Okay. Uh, do you dance? Uh huh. Okay. Well, get up here. We, okay. there you go. We're we'll dancing right here. Okay, I'm step on the table. Okay. That, that's right. This is Mother Lode Roundup Queen Week. We are honored to have Katie Mae uh, Broder, reigning queen, with us this morning. And uh, all this week, we have the contestants for this year's uh, uh, pageant coming up. So we're very excited about it. Thanks for coming. Start again. Oh, so let me just ask you: the year really gone by quickly for you? Yes, very quickly. I've been so busy; it's just flown by. Tell me about some of the events uh, that you've been involved in as Motherload Queen. Uh, there may be a lot of people who don't realize that uh, once the roundup is over, that's basically just the start Started. of a year for you. Uh -huh. I've been to different parades and rodeos. I've even been able to be in ribbon cutting ceremonies to open businesses. I've been involved in other pageants. I was able to help with her competition. I've been involved in a lot of different things. It's been the most enjoyable part of the year. Meeting all the new people, getting to see all the new faces, and getting to talk to people you've never seen before. What's been the most difficult part of the year for you? Maybe balancing your schedule with school and a social life? Yeah, it's possible. I've been doing it. It is hard, but I wouldn't say that's the hardest part. I'd have to say getting up really early in the morning. <laughs> What, uh, what kind of advice, if any, would you pass along to all the candidates for this year now that you've been through it for a full year yourself? I tell them to work hard and stick with it and just stay who they are because it's easy to lose yourself. And this year there are, what, three? There are three contestants. Amazing girls. They're all doing so good. And in the past they've had up to seven, mm -hmm. I think. This year with three, and at some point that young lady is going to step up and she's going to remember. Oh, I hope she will. Katie May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the impression you have on people. You know, that's neat. And an opportunity to do it in a community like this, the Motherload Roundup, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people come up, thousands are going to flock at the, uh, yes. the big parade and things like that. Are you ready to give up the reins of the queen? I guess. Queen? I mean, I'm going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a choice. Uh -huh. Your horse. Tell, tell us about too much. Yeah, tell us oh. about too much. 
She's amazing. She's been such a good sport because she doesn't do any of this. She's a cutting horse. She deals with cattle. And then I turned her around, and now she's doing raining and barrels and wow. whatever else they ask me to wow. do. Wow. How long have you had too she's much? Doing it. Um, I think I got her when I was 13. Mm -hmm. So I've had her a long time now. Mm -hmm. Anybody who's thinking about running in the contest to be a mother little roundup queen, mm -hmm. got to be able to ride a horse. Yes. <laughs> That's important. Yes. That's probably a prerequisite, right? I don't think you can get right? through yeah. it without that. Yeah, because there is competition uh -huh. of how you ride on a horse. Yes. And these girls go out there full stride. Their horses are running around that arena uh -huh. and you're saluting people. And I've always been amazed yep. that I don't want to ride a horse to begin with. I'm uh -huh. scared of them. Mm -hmm. What else is needed other than riding a horse? Is there anything else? You have to be able to speak and write speeches. That's a huge part of it. You're constantly doing speeches. Part of your pageant is a speech. You have to do a speech about yourself and a topic speech. Katie Mae Broderick. <laughs> The current reigning queen who's about to hand over the reins, and in this coming week, we're going to be meeting the rest of the contestants. Yes, you will. Hill in studio with us, and we were, she goes, I love that song <laughs> by Plum. And you she, actually have time to listen to music, Kitty? Of course. Yes. You know, when you're in the car going to the next place. <laughs> <laughs> she hears a song or two. <laughs> okay. If anyone's listening that um, maybe has a thought in their head, oh, let's say someone's a, a freshman in high school, and they think, gosh, in a couple of years, I'd like to do that. Do yeah. you have any bits of information, um, or advice, I should say, that you would like to put out there for someone who's thinking, maybe just toying with the idea? I would tell them to definitely practice with their horse, get that horse going, learn your patterns, and stay who you are, and just work hard. And you can do it. You can achieve it. Interesting so thing you, you said, stay who you are. Because I can imagine... <laughs> In a position like that, your ego can maybe get in the way. <laughs> you haven't changed since we met you over a year ago. Oh, thank but you. But to stay who you are is something you have to work at mm -hmm. yes. to remember. Because right. you got people like Mary and I go, wow, it's been like, what have you been up to? Uh -huh. I've been going to rodeos. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Yeah. Uh, but you're still a student. Mm -hmm. You're still a, um, you're somebody's child. Yes. You used to have mom and dad back home. You still have a life. It's not you just about You got a boyfriend yet, Katie Mae? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's staying who she is, uh, and that is... Single. I got to focus. <laughs> yeah. She's getting ready to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Mae Broderick, your 50th annual Mother Little Random.